15 seconds and make sure it's recording. Yep, looks like we are. So, uh, so hopefully people can hear me okay. Uh, otherwise, just feel free to type, on the, type something on the chat window uh, to get my attention. Uh, also sharing my screen uh, with the uh, hackathon kickoff slide deck and uh, quickly go through these, but uh, please feel free to interrupt me and David uh, as we go along. And uh, after this session is done, we'll still also be posted on our um, uh, uh, playlist uh, on YouTube uh, so other people can uh, listen to the recording. Um, so again, uh, my name is Ray Peck, and I'm here with uh, David Planella. And uh, we'll, I think we have uh, the intro slide and a couple of slides as well. But just wanted to do a quick kickoff of the Q1 Hackathon. So this is um, uh, already a third edition uh, since I joined the GitLab team. Uh, so this is a quick agenda for for the kickoff. Uh, and just wanted to uh, cover logistics and answer any questions people have. Uh, so, I mean, over high level agenda, I just wanted to remind people about the code of conduct that we have at GitLab, and we'll talk about schedule, logistics, uh, MRs, and also places to start and make sure we answer all the questions you have. Um, and in terms of uh, code of conduct, I have a link here that that you can take a look at, go to about.gitlab.com, and then there's a code of conduct page. Uh, I won't necessarily read through the full text of what's there, but I mean, it's basically, I mean, nothing should be surprising in there. Uh, we want to treat each other with respect. I uh, want to have a warm and, uh, uh, and welcoming environment for all community members. So just so I mean, it's a good reminder. Uh, I mean, a hackathon or other events are a good, uh, good opportunity to give people a reminder of our community code of, code of conduct. I mean, this is something that uh, we feel is very important. And if you have any uh, questions or instances, uh, I mean, feel free to contact us at conduct.gitlab.com uh, if you have any questions, but uh, that's there for um, uh, uh, All right, so let me enlarge the screen so people can see the slide better. Sorry about that. Uh, Ray, I think if you just yep. click on the present um, button on the on the slide, standing to a bit better yep. for Sorry. everyone. Yep. Thank you. All Perfect. right. So, yep. Thank you, David. Um, so, okay. So that's that. On the quick reminder on on uh, on community code of conduct. Uh, so next slide, uh, quick get a glance, um, as we've done in the past couple of uh, quarters. I mean, this is a two-day uh, virtual event. Uh, I mean, kickoff is starting right now, but I've, uh, I've noticed that people have already been submitting MRs for the hackathon, uh, and I'll talk about where all the MRs are being um, kept track. Uh, during the two-day event, and we'll have a wrap-up session uh, around 2300 UTC on, on oh, I'm sorry, this should say, uh, the dates are, uh, the days are wrong, it should say Tuesday and, and Wednesday, I'll, I'll change the slides, uh, but we'll end on the, around 2300 UTC on the 13th. And during the event, if you need any uh, support or if you want to just have a conversation with community members during the event, uh, go to our Gitter uh, community room uh for for support and and questions and you know but either david and i will try to jump on any questions that people may have pretty pretty promptly uh we'll also have tutorial sessions uh we actually managed to schedule all of them on to tuesday and what we did this time around was invite all the pro uh, several product managers uh, from um, four uh, product teams at GitLab. We have product manager from manage, verify, create, and configure. Uh, in a similar setting to this kickoff session, we'll be on Zoom and we'll record it. Um, and that uh, will be posted on, on our, on our uh, hackathon playlist that the link is provided below. And if you want to see detail, uh, uh, like li list of all the presenters and, and links to the Zoom sessions, just uh, feel free to go to the hackathon page and 
should all be listed there along with um, with the priority MRs that I'll talk about and also uh, with prices. Um, moving right along, uh, just I guess I should have put this slide uh, earlier in the deck, but I mean, the sort of the host for this uh, two-day event is, uh, is myself and David, and we're uh, spread out geographically, so we should be able to have decent coverage. If people have any questions, I see that another person has joined the call. So uh, either on, uh, on GitLab or, or Slack, uh, uh, GitLab or Twitter, uh, feel free to reach out to us if you have any questions in addition to using Gitter. Uh, uh, be happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, cool. And then in terms of logistics, like like I noted, I mean, Gitter is sort of the uh, channel that gets actively used over, over the hackathon period. So ping either David or myself. Uh, or, I mean, there are a number of other people that have been very good about answering people's questions during the hackathon. So if you post questions there, uh, even if David or I aren't able to get back to you right away, somebody should be able to um, uh, lend your hand. Uh, so let me pause here for a few seconds. And I mean, David, uh, was there anything else that you wanted to cover here that I may have missed or? No, that sounds, that sounds excellent. I mean, I'd say okay. just uh, everyone uh, don't feel shy about pinging, uh, pinging us on Gitter. Uh, you can also, if you submit a merge request, then feel free to use this, the, uh, those same usernames to mention us on the, uh, on the, on the merge request. Or if you're uh, discussing something on an issue, same for an issue, uh, feel free to uh, ping either Diplonella myself or uh, Arpeg, uh, which is Ray. And then, um, yeah, we'll be um, more than happy to help you. And then, uh, if necessary, then get you in touch with, uh, with the right um, team members uh, of GitLab who can um, further help with uh, technical questions. Yep. Thank you, David. OK. Um, so uh, also, some of the speakers that, that I mentioned earlier, so we have uh, four product managers that will be uh, talking to us or leading the tutorials. Um, I mean, one of the things that uh, I did in preparing for this hackathon was to uh, I, I talked to all the product managers not only to, not only to invite them to lead tutorial sessions, but also to uh, identify some of the issues that really the community members help with. I mean, so that's sort of the inspiration of where I got the inspiration to to create uh, what we call the priority MR. So these are some of the issues they they wanted to. Uh, list out to community members to to seek out your help. Um, so uh, they'll have a chance to talk more about this in detail. Uh, if you want to, if you're available to join their sessions, and then they'll talk about those issues and other areas where they would uh, they would more than welcome like community members' help. Um, so I I listed their talks in in various time zones. So if you're able to, if you're not able to attend uh, because of the time zone conflicts, uh, the sessions will all all be recorded and, and posted on the YouTube channel. Uh, so these are the four speakers. Um, so we'll get to the MRs. Um, uh, and as David mentioned, like when you submit MRs, I mean, feel free to mention both myself and David. Uh, we'll be happy to make sure that it gets reviewed by uh, somebody on the right product team. So we'll, we'll be happy to do the triage. Uh, and we'll also be adding like a hackathon label uh, for your MRs that are coming during the hackathon period. And I, create, I opened an issue here uh, that you can look at. Uh, that this is where the issues will be tracked. Uh, so let me go in here really quick. Uh, so as I noted, I mean, uh, the person uh, from Japan already submitted a couple of MRs and one of them actually already been merged uh, on www.gitlab.com project. But um, so this is where I'll be listing all the MRs that come in. So we're off to a decent start with the two that have already uh, come in. Um, but I uh, hope to see this list definitely grow over the next couple of days. Um, Okay, back to the slides. Uh, so the prizes. Um, so I mean, similar to last time around, I mean, anyone who has any MRS merge will receive a prize. And uh, the next, the following slide will talk, uh, will show you the the, the pictures of the uh, the prize prizes that we have ready uh, for this hackathon. And the person with the most MRS will uh, basically receive a grand prize. 
Uh, and the MRs must be merged by 2300 UTC on Monday, February 25th. Uh, so you have roughly like 10 business days, I think, or, or a little bit, yeah, like roughly 10 business days from now to get your MRs merged. Uh, and we'll, uh, like we did in the, uh, in the past, sorry for another typo, they will be notified by, uh, by, I'll create another issue to notify all the Q1 hackathon project uh, winners. Um, oops, sorry, move too fast. Uh, so what we did this time around, uh, we also want to, I mean, we definitely want to see the volume of MRs uh, that have come in uh, as we've seen in the past couple of quarters, but we also wanted to highlight some of the issues that the product managers wanted community members help on. Um, so uh, I think, like most of the pro, uh, product areas had identified issues, including documentation that uh, that we want to encourage community members to work on. Uh, the only ask is that, uh, I mean, some of these may not be the easiest issues to work on. Uh, so we encourage you to just pick one of the issues that you're interested in and work on one of those only. Uh, I mean, if, if you uh, try to tackle more than one of those, I, um, not sure if you'll be able to complete them in a reasonable time frame. So it's just if you're interested in working on one of these issues, uh, you can just add a note to it in the comment, and uh, we'll try to get that get that issue assigned to you. Uh, I believe two of the issues uh, people have spoken for already. Uh, one is on like a documentation, and the other is on um, I believe on verify. Uh, but let me go to that page here so people can see. Um, yeah, so I believe this documentation and this verify issue that people have expressed interest in, but others are still wide open. Uh, as far as I know, like when I checked like, like a couple of hours ago, so feel free to uh, go through these issues. And if you're interested, just express your interest and uh, 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 you can go from there. Uh, let me go back here, uh, and then I scroll through that on the on the web page. Uh, so the prizes uh, for anyone with the MRS merge gets this. Uh, uh, it's it's called a Wallet Ninja, but it's a it's a handy tool, uh, and this is actually TSA approved, so you can get it through airport security, uh, and. I can vouch for that because I had to carry this through security uh, when I went to FOSDAM uh, a couple of weeks ago and I didn't have any issues. I think somebody looked at it and see what it was, but uh, she let me carry it on the plane. So it's a handy tool that was pretty popular at FOSDAM uh, where we had to stand. And then uh, people with prior DMRs will get this insulated water bottle. Uh, it's got, gotten good reviews, and the grand prize get this uh, nice duffel bag uh, uh, as 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 a reward. Uh, so those are the prizes that's just listed on the on the hackathon page. Um, and just wanted to recap uh, quick stats from from the past two hackathons because I've gotten some questions from community members. Uh, so just wanted to share uh, a couple of data points. Um, so if you look at the Q3 hackathon, the number of MRs that have come in uh, were 22. And then if you compare that to the following quarter, I think the number almost tripled uh, to 65. I mean, I definitely want to see uh, uh, a growth like this continue in, into Q1. Uh, but that's sort of the, uh, I mean, I, this sort of indicates the level of interest that we've gotten from community members, which uh, David and I were very excited to see. Uh, so uh, those, uh, um, the, uh, the blue bar basically shows the MR, it's like a total number of submitted uh, over uh, two hackathons. And, and the red bar basically shows for the grand prize winner how many uh, MRs they, they had merged basically. Uh, so it went from like seven to 13, like we'll see what kind of numbers we see um, this quarter, but I mean, it's, you know, one of the, the questions I got from a couple of the community members just wanted to share the stats. Um, let me pause here real quick and make sure if there are no questions or uh, David, I'm not sure if I covered everything that I we needed to cover. Um, 
Sounds good. I mean, I would say something as well. Uh, yeah. Even even as we speak, we're uh, updating the uh, some items on the GitLab Hackathon uh, Hackathon page. Um, so I'm thinking that we should pr probably add the um, add the presentation, uh, Ray. Yeah. Um, the yep. kickoff at some point. I mean, I can do right. it during my during my day while while you're uh, sleeping. Um, not that Ray is sleeping, we're just in uh, different time zones. Right. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I would say stay tuned to the main uh, gitlab.com slash community slash hackathon um, page for uh, for other um, for other um, changes or announcements that, that we do uh, during the, the event. Um, one thing that we're doing right now is we've noticed that the countdown, the countdown needs a fix, uh, but we're working on um, essentially um, solving this uh, as we speak. Cool. Yep. Yeah, definitely. Uh, along with YouTube uh, presentations, we'll uh, get them posted on on the hackathon page pretty quickly. Cool. Okay. I think I just have a couple of slides to go. Um, so sorry, this slide is uh, pretty busy, but a um, uh, good place to start for for newcomers. Uh, I mean, one of the things that you can do is just basically go to like uh, uh, gitlab.com and do uh, queries on like, for example, on CE, uh, look for issues that would, that are accepting merge requests and has a backlog milestone. Uh, so you'll see a sample query there, which I ran today and earlier this morning, my time in there, I think there are about 12 issues. Um, so I'll, let me click on that link. Yeah, it's the number still the same. So this is for community edition. Um, so th the reason why I picked these two labels and milestone is that the, it, with these labels and, and the milestone, it's likely that somebody from the product team has, has sort of gone through the issue. Uh, make sure that it's it's uh, the spec is the is specced out in 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 pretty good detail. Uh, and number of GitLab people have looked at this, so it it should be uh, so this should be like uh, issues that are relatively easier for people to get started. And I also added a way to one, uh, so this is like one is obviously easiest versus ten, which would be very difficult. Uh, so these uh, this is sort of one way to search for like issues for newcomers to get started with uh, get started on, uh, and then I'll. Going back to the slide, I also want to highlight a couple of issues that uh, one of our core team members, Hannes, uh, brought up as uh, uh, potentially good ones for first time contributors. I believe the first time is like a documentation fix. Um, so, I mean, if you uh, are, if you're looking for ideas on where to get started, uh, I mean, definitely look at these two issues or, I mean, do a simple query like I did on to, to look for issues that, that um, uh, would be relatively straightforward for newcomers to get started with. Um, so that's all right. Quick recommendation. And the next slide. So I mean, this is basically a summary of what's captured in uh, our contributing page. So if you go to about.gitlab.com/contributing, uh, you'll have a lot more of these in detail. Uh, but I kind of summarize, uh, depending on the area that you like to contribute in, whether it's in development, documentation, or even UX design, um, you'll find links where you can get started. Uh, and like I said, this, uh, these four different sections are in a lot more detail on, on the contributing page, but I summarize them here and I'll, I'll get this slide posted. We'll get this slide posted pretty soon. And the next page uh, also includes the information on, uh, on the contributing page on, on where to get help. Uh, so we mentioned the Gitter uh, uh, community room number of times, but uh, there are a couple of other links here that, uh, that can help you get started. And we also have uh, merge request coaches at, at ready uh, to lend your hand and uh, basically uh, details on how to find the merge request coaches and how to get a hold of them. And it also reviews and maintainers of various projects. Uh, so if you ever get stuck and if uh, for whatever reason David or I are uh, able to get back to you in a timely fashion, uh, there are other GitLabbers that should be available to uh, help you out during the hackathon period. 
Uh, so I believe that's my last slide. I noticed that uh, there are uh, several other people that had joined the call uh, in the last uh, 15 minutes or so. Are there any questions or comments? Let me see if I'm... I, need to I, see, some on the, I see some on the chat, um, Ray. Yeah. Um, one from Aaron, um, who's asking which GitLab repos are part of the hackathon. Um, I'm interested in GitLab's charts, uh, GitLab repo. Um, I would say, uh, perhaps as a rule of th uh, thumb, everything that's under the GitLab um, dash org um, group um, that includes um, GitLab C, GitLab PE, uh, GitLab Pages, uh, GitLab Runner. Um, I think the charts uh, one is in there uh, yep. as well, even if it's not okay, cool. Um, so I think uh, for your particular uh, interest, um, then that should be perfectly fine. Uh, in general, we put some more um, some more um, emphasis on triaging um, merge requests from um, from GitLab C or GitLab EE, um, just because uh, we want to make sure that we don't spread ourselves too too thin. Uh, obviously, we'd we'd like to uh, look in uh, in detail at uh, any merge request from the wider community throughout any repos. Um, but um, yeah, for the hackathon, we're actually more um, more aware that uh, there are uh, merge requests uh, throughout other uh, um, throughout the uh, GitLab um, dash org um, subgroup. So um, yeah, um, if we don't happen to uh, to reply to you on a merge request um, after uh, a few hours, uh, feel free to to ping us, or as we said, I mean, feel free to ping us directly as you write a merge request, and we'll make sure that it makes it to the hackathon. Cool. And then I see that question from Gokhan. Yeah, thank you. So I'll try to find your merge request on CE uh, and make sure that it's labeled as uh, hack, hackathon MR52198. Yep. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, as David noted, like if if it's if you notice that it's not getting labeled in within a reasonable time frame, just feel free to you know, ping us on Gitter. That's probably the quickest way to get a hold of us, and then we'll make sure it happens. Cool. Any other questions or comments? All right. David, are you trying to speak or? I'm sorry, I had to no, zoom no, okay. off, um, somewhere else. Um, I was just, uh, uh, there was just a question to Kokan. Um, is that the URL from the merge request? Uh, I don't seem to find it, just to make sure that we're looking into it before we wrap up the call. Oh, I bet the numbers are flipped. 52198. Let me type it in chat. Oh, there we go. I see it. Yeah, I saw this earlier. I didn't realize this was for Hackathon, but uh, let me just add that. Cool, thank you. And thanks for checking, David, before we signed off. Cool, all right. Uh, any other questions? Uh, got six minutes left, but uh, happy to end the meeting early. All right, well, thanks for your time, everybody. Happy hackathon, happy hacking, and uh, we'll see you guys online soon. Just feel free to ping us if you have any questions. Bye, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Yep. Take Bye. care.